The coronavirus lockdown is taking a serious toll on the lives of residents up and down the state of California. One America's Pearson Sharp spoke with Senator Brian Jones and has more. As more and more California residents protest the ongoing lockdown, some state and local leaders are starting to take notice. One America News spoke with State Senator Brian Jones, who says the situation isn't as bad as it appears in the news, and that while reopening California's beaches and parks is a good first step, some of the restrictions are still counterproductive. It's not as bad as people think it is, generally. Uh, it's not as bad as the media is making it sound. You know, you can go to Vons and be a, or Lowe's for that matter, and be jammed up against people in the aisles, but you can't go sit out on the beach. You know, the parks are open, but the parking lots aren't. Mm -hmm. I mean, give me a break. Jones says while the leadership in California may have had good intentions to protect the public in the beginning, once they figured out the virus wasn't as bad as they thought it would be, instead of rolling back the restrictions, they doubled down. Well, when this started on March 16th in California, we were gonna run out of uh, intensive care unit hospital beds. We were going to run out of ventilators in California. We were going to run out of masks. We were going to run out of all this stuff. We were going to run out of doctors. We were going to run out of nurses. None of that stuff has happened. However, not all leaders in California feel the same, such as San Diego County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher, who says Californians are just going to have to suck it up and get used to what he calls the new normal, including permanently wearing face masks in public. And whenever a politician says that, that means they want to define, they want to take responsibility for defining what the new normal is. And a lot of these elected officials and politicians, I don't trust to make that proclamation or definition or regulation. Do you think that that could be setting up a dangerous precedent, calling this vague idea of a new normal? Like, does that? That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, no, it's a very dangerous precedent because it is vague and it's not up to the elected, it's not up to our elected officials to constrain our movement and our, our personal freedoms so that they can define what the new normal is. That's up to us as consumers and as Americans and as uh, citizens of, of the freest country in the world to define what that is and tell our politicians what the new normals, new normal is going to look like, not them tell us. So is this beginning to tread on our constitutional rights at this point? I've been saying that since the beginning. I, I mean, the, the very beginning of the lockdown, I've been saying that the government's, you know, on the precipice of a constitutional event. But the time for California Governor Gavin Newsom to make these kinds of decisions on his own could be coming to an end. On Monday, Attorney General William Barr ordered U.S. attorneys to start monitoring states and local governments that might be violating American civil liberties. Barr said the lockdown has imposed tremendous burdens on the daily lives of Americans. That's especially true for states like California, where draconian laws are no substitute for personal freedoms. Pearson Sharp, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.